Hi Hoopers, it is Shay Rippinger from Hip the Hoopla, www.hipthehoopla.com. I'm here today to go over day six of the seven day challenge. Today, <laughs> since I'm counting with the hands, is all about the hands. So let's get started. So a few hand warm ups. Prayer position is good. Reverse prayer position. Getting some rotations in. And when you get the rotations in, this as a warm-up, you're going to get in flourishes, which is our first little move. So we're going to take as if you're going around a doorknob or fanning your fingers around. So start with a pinky and go all the way out to the thumb like you're going all the way around. And then reverse the direction and bring them in. Reverse, reverse. And you're going to get not just the fingers in, but the wrists. So when I say the hands, this is very important in hooping because it is an extension of your lines. So uh, also to review real quick, day one was the feet, day two were the legs, day three was the hips and the bootay, day four was the core, day five was the arms, and today we're working on the rest of the extension of the arms. So if you have just floppy hands, you know, you can have these lovely snake arms and be doing this. And if the hands are just flopping around, it doesn't look so pretty. So we want it to look really pretty, okay? So we're going to really take, I say, use the middle fingers for good. So instead of flipping people off, we're going to really extend the middle fingers out. Really shoot, like you're shooting lightning bolts. So think of reaching the back part of your audience, even if you don't have an audience, it doesn't matter. You're just shooting energy out into the universe, okay? And then, after you get all your warm-ups in and get your hand flourishes in, uh, I would like to show you something that I love. I call this cheating belly dance hands. So, of course, there are lovely belly dance hands, but a lot of times when you're hooping, you need an autopilot move. This is one of those where you don't have to think really hard for, for about it, but you can un-T-Rex from this position here when you're hooping and, and, and getting into little paddles and, you know, just, you know, so we want to get into some pretty stuff. So what I do, if you're going to meditate, you would take the thumb and the middle fingers like that and go, um, whatever you do to meditate. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to slightly move the thumbs in and down the fingers. And then we're going to just simply flip the fingers over. So you have this, what I call cheating belly dance hands. So you have, you can do belly dance hands, but then sometimes you have to think about it where your fingers are, the extension, stuff like that. Now, the nice thing about this is you can get your hoop on and just simply get this going. So when you're getting this going, you can keep these belly dance hands going. Keep the thumbs glued into the center part of the middle fingers and you have pretty extensions with your lines. So with the hands, you can be doing some floats and some directions with your hands around your hoop and really have some fun with that. Take a note from hula dancers and Bollywood dancers. They do a lot of hand expressions and mudras, a lot of things from yoga, where the hand positions, they actually tell a story. And also in belly dance, too, some of the peasant uh, Romani belly dance moves, there's actually things that the hands do that are very expressive. So if you're one of those people like me, Italian, and you talk with your hands a lot, la, 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 la. So there's lots of things that you can do with your hands. So think about getting hand things in with your hooping. Also, when you are doing something with one hand, don't just leave that other hand just hanging and dangling. Do something with that. Direct it over. Direct it over. Whatever that may be. That may be with a isolation. Whatever that may be. Use your imagination on that. Okay. One other thing that I wanted to go over real quick is some grips. So there is a lot in this category. So a couple of different grips. And I like Emma Kenna out there has some lovely things on grips. And I love her language. So I am adopting her language because it's just darn fun. She calls this one happy spider. This is an outside grip around the hoop. She calls this one 
I like when she calls it sleeping spider, but she also calls this one dead spider. It's an inside grip. So when you are taking this, well, let's grab a smaller hoop so we can demonstrate. Outside, inside, and then you can take this around. So this is an outside grip. Twist this around, she calls this one penguin grip. So as you can see, there's a penguin grip. And then you turn this around, she calls this one chicken arm, chicken grip. So as you can see, it, it, and it's gonna spin in and around. So starting from an outside grip, palm up, bring it inside, one half twist, another half twist. So you have happy, uh, yeah, happy spider, and then dead spider, and then, let's see here. Dead spider, happy spider, penguin grip, chicken grip. And then you can take and float that out. So that's a little bit of grip position. Those grips are really handy for a lot of different hooping because you're going to be changing and moving your grips around. So have some fun with that. There are lovely things to do with the hands guiding around. Ooh, ooh. And just because your hands are going to help you focus too. So if you're doing this, there's a, a lovely thing like moving the hand around and getting a little bit of an illusion going where you're guiding and directing with the hoop and with the hands. There are so many things to do with the hands. Have some fun with it. Pick out your favorite dance moves. Could be Bob Fosse, just hands. Or, you know, wave them in the air like you just don't care. Whatever. Have some fun with it. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Play, 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 play. Yeah. Alrighty. I am Shay Rippinger of Hip the Hoopla. Thank you for joining me for day six of our seven day challenge, hoop dance challenge. And if you would like to know more, please visit us at Hip the Hoopla www.hipthehoopla.com or also on Facebook or on lots of social media on Instagram and all that kind of good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Rock on. Love you all. <laughs> and, and, you can do a Taylor Swift. All right. Before that was Taylor Swift. All right. Bye.